Welcome to watching the program of CBP, Love, Brighton and Hope. Hello Martin. Hello. Hello Sonia. Can you introduce yourself? Do you, want to, do you want to go first? So my name is Sonia. I live in Brighton and Hove. Uh, I'm actually French and I came to England when I was about 20 years old. I came to study English and like a lot of foreigners I decided to stay look for a job and I'm still here. Thank you, Sonia. What about you, Martin? Uh, my name is Martin and I am a supposedly retired person. Uh, I used to uh, teach English as a foreign language and I came to Brighton to teach English as a foreign language and I stayed and then I changed professions to do management training, which I did for most of my life. And even though I'm supposed to be retired now, I always seem to have a lot to do, including helping with the CEDP. How did you come into contact uh, with CEDP? Well, actually, a real coincidence. So I'm a tutor. I teach French to children, adults as well. And through one of my students at school, his mother contacted me and invited us to go to the Chinese New Year in Brighton. So we went, and there we met Dr. Hong Lu. We had a wonderful time. We saw so many um, people from the Chinese community. We didn't speak Chinese at all, obviously, but everybody was very uh, friendly, welcomed us, tried to uh, find out what we knew about Chinese people. We didn't, so we learned a lot of things. And through that, we got involved. So Dr. Hong Lu eventually um, contacted us, asked us if we wanted to help, and we did. What made you decide to become a volunteer? Uh, well, for my part, it, I don't think it was so much a, a decision as a more of a uh, mum and dad, this is our son Adam speaking, uh, I'm helping out with the CDP, I'm doing some projects including helping them with Chinese New Year, and uh, would you like to help? But there wasn't really a question mark on the end of that question, it was more of a full stop, exclamation mark, you're helping. We you had no choice. So we had no choice. What kind of areas have you been responsible for at CEDP? And what activities have you participated in? So, our son did a lot of singing and introducing people, presenting. We don't sing. We don't dance. <laughs> um, so what we did, but we're very good at talking to people. So what we, our contribution was to organize raffles, to organize games, to try to maybe um, kind of, whenever we had English people, to try to welcome them, to make them, uh, we wanted to show that a lot of English and European were part of the, of the CDP center. Um, so mostly raffle, games, uh, what else did we do? We did um, kind of, we were compare as well. Yeah, we, we, did, to, we, we did a bit of comparing. Yes, yeah, so we did speak as well and uh, introduce various um, acts which would be uh, coming. So we would speak in English, obviously, we couldn't speak uh, Chinese, Mandarin or Cantonese or anything. So everything was in English. So that's what we did. And we also we also actually supported, didn't we, with a lot of backstage organisation. Oh yes, of course. We Absolutely. helped out, we did yes. we did paperwork, we yes. did checklists to make sure that everything that was supposed to be there was there on time, yes. where it should be, all that yes. kind of thing. And going around buying the presents, uh, which you would give or you win in the raffles. So no, we did a lot of uh, background work as well. Yeah, there was actually, there was actually one point I remember at one of the big events where the raffle was going so well that even though Sonia was in the audience, she became the centre of attention because she was selling the raffle yes, tickets. We were and so everybody tickets. was rushing up to yes. and trying to buy, and the show just stopped for yes. five minutes while everybody people bought tickets, raffle tickets. Which was great for CDP because, you know, obviously everybody was having fun, so that's what we want. Whenever there is an event, it is so important, the most important thing is for people to be happy and enjoy themselves. Yes, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a magic thing for any event when the audience are truly, truly involved yes. and want to be involved. Yes. That is, that is gold dust. This is how we keep them, yes. How do you feel about participating in CDP activities? 
And how has this affected your life? Our life changed totally, absolutely. So, and I'll explain to you why. Now, because, um, again, our son lived with us at the time when we got involved with CDP. Because he was getting more and more involved with it, he decided to learn Mandarin. So, he started having lessons, he started doing more work for Dr. Honglu. Eventually, and I think he will, I don't want to speak for him because I'm sure he will want to participate into this video and it'll explain to you, but he's not living here anymore. So from having a child who was living here, who was looking at getting a job in Brighton and Hove, or maybe London, suddenly, he packed his bag and said, Dad, Mom, I'm off to Shanghai. He's gone to China. So our life has totally changed because our son is not here anymore. So who would have thought, I don't know, a few years ago, that our son would one day go to China? And my family in France, when I told them that Adam was going to China, they said to me, China, why, why did you just, you know, took a, a map of the world and thought, oh, this is where I want to go. And I said, no, Adam will explain to you. And I'm not going to spoil it. I'll leave it for him to explain to you why he went up there. Thank you, Sonia. Can you tell us what advantages the CBP team has? Yeah, the um, thing about the CDP team is that they, they draw on a lot of different resources. So obviously the, the people, the trustees and helpers who are involved the whole time, that's one resource they can draw on. But they also have this massive ocean of students at Sussex University who they can tap into and they can cross-pollinate with and they can draw on their skills and bring them in. They have that going on. And also they have contact with people in the local council and around. So they can draw on a lot of ideas, a lot of, a, a lot of skill sets, and that in itself generates energy. And the energy that it generates drives the CDP forward. I think, yes, Dr. Hongru is very lucky. She's yes. got a lot of people who are really hard work. Yeah, and committed. Mm. Thank you, Martin. Thank you, Sonia. What do you think the CDP could do to raise its profile? Okay, uh, Martin, what do you think they should do? Uh, I mean, I've got my idea, but why don't you go ahead? No, I think your idea is probably better than mine. Go on, okay. run, run with so, it. So, I don't know. I think what they can do to raise their profile, my. It's something I've been thinking about for quite a while now and I think I should have mentioned it to Dr. Honglu. Now we have the Brighton Festival which brings a lot of, lot of people um, into the uh, community, into Brighton. Um, I think what the CDP should do is maybe organise an event during the Brighton Festival because a lot of Brighton, uh, Brightonian as we call them, who live here in this country, or in Brighton, I should say, they don't always participate to a lot of things. But suddenly, during Brighton Festival, they all come out. So if there was somewhere, and uh, during Brighton Festival, I explained to you, a lot of acts uh, performed in um, rooms, but there are also a lot of acts in the streets. And I think it would be nice to have people performing from the CDP. I don't know, maybe, I'm talking about maybe a choir, and I seem to remember, I think one was... Didn't we have a choir one year? Yeah, Adam, Adam, Hi, Adam organised it. We had a choir. That that, was a, Adam will tell him. Yes, Adam. I, think, I think we could do with maybe more, more events during Brighton Festival. That is a good way of raising the profile. Um, and what uh, Dr. Honglu did, which was very good, they started going to various schools to teach um, Mandarin. That was quite good. <coughs> Do you think it's good? Yeah, it's good. Okay, good. so that could be done. Um, yes. I think they're doing a lot of good things at the moment. Thank you. What role do you think the EDP projects have played in the integration of Chinese and English cultures? Okay, well, I'd, I'd like to pick up part of, part of my response to that. It's something that links into something that Sonny's just said. They have, they have three ways in to, to English culture. They have what I call the high profile events. So when they run, not at the CEDP centre, but is it, is it the Bright Helms? No, it's not the Bright Helms. One of the big, yes. big centres, oh, New, New England Street. Oh, yes. when, when they run the Chinese New Year event there, 
that can attract as many as a thousand people. Okay? It brings in local dignitaries, it brings in business people, they meet people coming over from China to support the event. There's a lot of money generated, there are raffles, there are shows, and it makes a big noise. And that shouts out to the local community that in fact the CEDP are there and China is there and they get recognition. So that's for me, that's the high profile, high impact stuff. Then there's slightly less profile than that, but equally important, they do the outreach programs. They go into schools and they have what they call China Day. And our son, Adam led some of the yes, China but Days, he didn't he? Did but he may talk to you about But it will be nice to, do, to have more, maybe. Yeah, yeah, they do China Days in schools. They teach, they, they show Chinese pictogram calligraphy, I think they do some some kung fu, all that, all that kind of stuff. Talk about culture, yes, yeah. I think it's very good. And then a little bit, in fact much, much lower profile, but equally importantly, particularly in co during Covid, they ran, and I think they still are doing, I'm not sure if it's still on the cards, they ran food banks. So on Friday nights, people could just pop in and they could get some food, they didn't have to be a member of the CEDP, them just come and you would see people coming through the door sometimes very shyly thinking can I can I really have this food and somebody would say yep yeah, here take and take some more of this and you'd see them leaving yes and you could see relief and happiness on their faces and for me that that was a, a, a giant a giant impact on the local community even though it wasn't shouted out loud to everybody in your opinion What's the significance of the CEDP? Well, for me, it's, it's just the fact that it exists at all. Just the fact that it is there as a resource for people to pop into. It's a pos it opens possibilities for not only the events that they have, but as Sonia says, new events to come up. It's, it's a, a platform. And you, you, in Brighton especially, it's a perfect place to have it because there's so many points. It's such a multicultural um, town, mm. so it's really, really important to have it and to have it here. Thank you. Do you have any suggestions for volunteers who want to join CDP in the future? Yes, simple. Just go, try, become a volunteer, you go there, and then you like it, you stay, you come back, you don't like it, you walk away. But I guarantee you that any volunteer who comes, and I'm going to look at the camera here, if you are interested in volunteering somewhere, do something worthwhile. Don't think we are not doing anything important. Come to the CDP, you know. You don't have to be committed. Just come, try, you enjoy it, then come back. You don't enjoy it, then no hard feeling. It doesn't matter. But I'm sure you will love it. And it's nice to meet different culture. And also, more importantly, once you come and help us, then if you want to go to China, we'll help you to get there. Well, Dr. Hong will help you. <laughs> yes. We are hoping to get there as well on holiday, but there's so much to see. And we're getting all these videos from our son, and I tell you what, I am jealous. And I've got nine brothers and sisters, and they are all ready to go up there as well. So please come and help us. Yes. That's all I can say. I have nothing to add to that. Great. Thank you, Sonia. Thank you, thank you for thank having you. us and thank you for, for letting us uh, share our ideas with you. Thank you for watching.